Hello, everybody. So this is the next um, video today. Today is the end of a Blue Eagle Day, so it's about seeing the bigger picture. It's also about flying high to assist our communities. And it's also a sign of abundance, and it also connects with the heart and many other things. It's also about how we can understand our role in planetary service and as a planetary server. And that's also tying in with this concept of free will and 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 the human being free will, but it's not like, oh yeah, it's not my flow, it can't be ours. It's, yeah, I get who I am and I'm in for the mission. So in this little one, I'm going to talk a little bit about Tobias's question and then a little bit about the course the Foundational Course for Conscious Practitioners, and that launches on the 12th of July. And it's very exciting because it launches on the, the first day of the Red Serpent Wave spell. And in the last video, I explained a little bit about these serpent frequencies, these lower chakra aspects, and, and, and the, yeah, I'll talk a little bit more, but the, the course revolves around the totem of the serpent, but actually explores these multi-layered facets of the serpent that, that remake it, just like the human, a microcosm of many things. So we can talk about DNA, we can talk about the Pleiades. The course actually um, is amazing because this is probably never gonna happen again in our lifetime, is the course launches on the same day as well as Matariki, same window. Matariki, which is the Mari New Year, which is a celebration of the rising of the Pleiades, which are the celestial serpents. So that's pretty cool because it's, um, it's again connecting to wisdom, knowledge, a new relation to our relation to our root, our roots, our DNA, knowledge, sexuality, death, life, da 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 da. And after this run of Corona, uh, a lot of people maybe have had a little bit of a discussion with their being about their fear of death. So a great initiation there. So Tobias was asking about how how we can get more in line with um, natural law, natural time. We look at that in the course. And, and he raised the question of obviously women have their 28 day cycle. Well, they can do if you work with the moon. I, I, some years ago, I worked more with galactic time, so mine was more going with sevens and 25s and things, and, and would go around when I needed to work with, with certain earth. But, but the, it's still, you know, women have this alignment with the lunar cycle, and what could men do to, to connect more? So the thing is that aligning with the Tolkien, with the galactic mind calendar, is a really good way to do that. But I also wanted to just draw your attention to what sounds completely woo-woo, but the fact that we all have a connection to the womb. Yeah, obvs. But you basically, you all have your placenta that was removed, usually prematurely, and your umbilical cord and your navel. And if you're incarnated in a man's body, there are still ways that you can etherically connect to a womb space because you still, we all still have the hara, we all still have the sacral. And there's been some work going on in recent years to connect with what's called the cosmic womb. And yes, those of us incarnated this time round in female bodies, we of course have a 3D microcosmic template that is like a microcosmic womb creation force and all of that but actually a man can etherically have that because it's a multi-dimensional thing and a man is not redundant because he can open himself up to that because we are all masculine feminine anyway so th that's kind of some of you be like I don't know what you're talking about and um, I'd probably not go into it here because that's another discussion but I just wanted to say you we all do actually have a connection to that and um and but the thing is that if you start to understand 
ah, you know, I'm on this day in the cycle, the natural law, natural time, because it is aligning with the moon and sun cycles. Once you have gnosis over the day it is, and, and I can attest to it personally, but I also see students and friends who've been working with the Galactic Mind Calendar for maybe a couple of years who've started to go, oh, yeah, I think I will do it in that day. And then they look and it's the perfect day to do it because once you embody it, and we're going to do some workshops actually in, in 3D, if that ever exists again, um, soon in, in parts of the summer, uh, to help people to dance their soul kin and other people's because once you embody it your body and your being aligns with natural law and natural time so a lot of us I've been for years doing events when I, I I'm like okay I'm going to do this event today because it's got this energy and some days some things are just like it would be the wrong thing to do so it's always the right people who come I'm not that attached to huge numbers of people coming I want the right people because what we do is very multi-dimensional work so we witness very miraculous outcomes and it's it's very important that the right people turn up and we're not over marketing it to the wrong people so yeah so so that's for me is I, I see that happening a lot where we we drop into that and and a lot of people also switch into sometimes and and, and we'll have had a lot of it recently is you know just the days where we just don't want to do something and we've kind of been conditioned to think we're a failure if we're not doing something and then no nope, actually sometimes it's because it's not the right day and then you wake up the next day and you do it in a quarter of the time so so yeah, so so just by embodying and looking at the energy of the day, finding out who you are and getting decoded. So you message me. Well, I suggest you do the course really, um, because we're bringing in higher level teachers than me, who were priestesses, who are priestesses of the Galactic Mind Calendar, and who studied under Jose. Um, so we're going to be starting to release higher teachings on the Tolkien and the Galactic Mind Calendar. So a really good way to do it is to get up to speed with the basics. So in the courses that we run on the Lotus platform, what we do generally is we give an immersion that's real time because then I have scheduled everything. The themes are all in alignment with the energy of the days. And if you can keep up, then you're like, oh, right. Okay, because it the, the themes will come in more, more straight. But it doesn't mean it's... it's the, the, the information is there to be tangible it's just that it, I'm doing several things at once and I do this in, in several courses so that if you can go into the immersion and actually opens up more and sometimes we even um, do plant dietas of things like mugwort and cacao in different days in some of the immersions and this means that as a group you go into a process and an alignment with that that time that that natural law um, construct of sorts because it's a, it, it's its own construct in its own way and I think that in time we're going to to go into something even deeper but this is a, for me it's like a landing pad for where we need to go to get to the next few dimensions of collective consciousness. So when I've gone into my pranayama head again. Um, yeah, so, so yeah, so we do that in the course and, and, and the thematics are there as well of the course to, now that we've had this, this extraordinary situation, it, it's a very, very good time to grapple with some of the themes that were in there because some of them are slightly triggering, but for instance, we have, um, sessions on decolonization and white privilege. And I started running the course two years ago, and um, or twice last year. Mm. Yeah, anyway, a year and a half ago or so. And people get quite triggered by some stuff, but I was told we had to make this content. And um, it, was, it was created for this time and to prepare people. So there's a lot of bypassing and dubious new age stuff and 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 privilege and i think now 
there is a nobility, but sometimes a little bit of tokenism that's going around online where everybody's like sharing all the stuff and Black Lives Matter, we know that, but I'm totally an advocate of that. But my, my worry is it's very nice to press like on Facebook and write a little hashtag thing. What are people doing about it? So this course is about preparing people to look at the stuff they need to look at and actually to look at how they would actually reorient to be a more conscious practitioner. And we have collaborations with elders, with people of color, with people from many different backgrounds who share, um, very expert practitioners who are all sharing wisdom on the course. So it's, I, I'm the weaver and that's a lot what I do generally. And, but I can't knit. I can do this, but I, I can do it multidimensionally. I can't do that one yet. And um, we, we have this weaving, this knitting that goes on. And then the, the whole approach even of the course is, is decolonized as much as possible. I'm sure we, there's room for improvement as we broaden our horizons and our, our, our perspectives. So we, we start very much working from a more female intuitive perspective and a decolonized perspective, which is not fact based. It's more transmission based because actually we receive a lot of information through transmission and there's a, a key to that. And, and, and it's actually a really good tool for us in these days. And we also look at things like trauma and, and the first half of the, the course is more lateral uh, and intuitive and, and feminine inverted commas and then we we deepen into more ethical principles and and slightly more yang discussion points so that we can actually bring a journey of energies and perspectives and delivery into hopefully a more rounded perspective of of how to be and that can be as a practitioner or somebody going through the transitioning process at the moment. So whilst the course is called Foundational Course of Conscious Practitioners, it's for anybody who wants to upgrade because you're a practitioner of life and the cosmos right now. And you're probably a practitioner on your own living room, write an essay on that because you've been there for a while. So, you know, that's one thing. It, it, part of me is mildly gutted because you know, a lot of people are going to be let out and then this online course starts and then it's actually perfect because there's no way it's going to be at Matariki again and it's this year is a whopper of a year so what better time than now to go into a really nice constellation because we hold space for each other, we share and um, I also do online sessions that are um, so People watch the videos in their own time and then we also have some sessions where we bring people together and, and, and work experientially and therapeutically together and some of those are scheduled in and sometimes if we need an extra session we put that in as well. So there's an opportunity to be part of a real-time live constellation of exploration and improvement and expansion and to actually be in this and, and and obviously if you've got questions and processes that's what we, we we interact with and so it's it's a pretty cool time because we're still in a retrograde year so nothing's going to go super fast until next year so this is a good time to do that and the there are a, there are several transmissions every week and you can watch them in your own time so, and we put them in bite-sized chunks so that you can manage it around your your schedule. And sometimes people f fall a little bit behind and they have this shame complex and they think they're failing. And that, of course, is really important to bring that up. But actually, um, what we do is we have an accreditation for people who wish to take it, which is an extra cost. And that also opens you up to be able to get um, insurance as a practitioner. And so there's a, 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 an integration period after, um, after the transmissions finish. So you can just watch the transmissions and just weave. And then the idea is that you, you reflect and you integrate and then you study and you really nail it. And I'm really pleased to say that our first three certified practitioners just finished their, their intake. 
um, at solstice on the 21st of June and I'm just just getting our certificates ready so yeah it's it's exciting because we're really in the time that some of us knew we were being prepared for to make this online platform and get these courses and yeah the course does talk to things that people were really preferring not to talk about and so I think for the the first two intakes we've done two pilots it was well not shocking it's not that hard it's not a hard crazy course but it was we were raising things that were a bit like oh but now I think because it's so up it's on Facebook it's in the news it's people will be like actually wow here we go I can actually really grapple with this so if you're one of those people we'd love to hear from you I will set I usually keep the registration open for about 10 days after the, the, the course starts so yeah because yeah till about the 22nd or so of July because otherwise you will go, get behind in the constellation and the shame story and we want to see you and interact with you so the next intake won't be for another nine months because we work with the galactic Mayan calendar and the serpent wave spell is always our starting point the root because we have to understand and get rooted too many people are ungrounded they're not grounded for the next bit in order to go up you have to be you have to know your roots and be, be be solid and this this course is about getting those principles the practices We've got lots of tools and practices that we share and lots of um, information about how to map and work with your own trauma um, albeit not super high level stuff because that would not be ethical to do that so yeah that's a little bit more and please get in touch if you've got any questions somehow i am going to get somehow to internet someday and then i'll do a live thing so i might just come online i don't know how it's all going to work but it's really good to to talk to you because at least i did speak to two people online and some of you and so I am sending you loads of love from Ibiza and I did get here eventually and um, yes yeah, it's, it's slightly surreal at the moment because we really are going into another wave and we're in eclipse season but yeah I hope to interact with some of you soon final thing is we're I'm fine with payment plans we understand the times and um that's always fine so just get in touch if that's something you want to explore we're okay with staggering that i'm i've got somewhere to stay i'm okay for now um so let's make sure that everybody who needs to be on this course right now can be on it okay take care ciao ciao